Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we will see how we can upgrade to Google Analytics 4. So for that you would require Google Tag Manager and as well as Google Analytics. And first of all, we need to open up Google Analytics and after that we will go to admin section over here. And here we will see this option of create property. So we would be just creating property as a first step. And over here, we need to provide the name of this property. You can provide it according to your needs and requirements. I'm just typing it as htm test 10. And after that, provide the reporting time zone of yours and also choose the currency. Then click on next. Then provide the industry category of yours and choose the business size then click on next and here you would need to provide the business objectives you can choose more than one over here and then click on create after that it would ask you to provide or choose the platform from where you will be collecting your data from so it is most probably the web version i am assuming so let's choose web as the example and here provide the URL of your website and I'm copying the stream name as the similar one and then click on create a stream and here you would get this measurement ID and this is what we require the most and in case if you haven't uh, copy pasted the Google tags on your website already then there are two ways to do it either you can do it automatically by scanning your URL and checking it out or you can do it manually and if you want to do it manually then just uh, log into your WordPress or the backend of your website and copy paste this particular uh, code right after the head element of your website's code and also make sure that you just paste it once do not more than that and do it for every single page of your website so this way you would be able to incorporate every single page of your website to Google Analytics. And after that, this is the measurement ID we would require. So now let's get back to Google Tag Manager and over here we will click on tags. In the tags section, you need to click on new. Now we will click on tag configuration. Over here, we will select the option of Google Analytics GA4 configuration. And after that, we will click on this option of plus over here, right beside measurement ID in order to add variable. So we will just click over here and select the plus icon on the top right hand side corner or right beside built-ins. Now click on variable configuration and scroll down. In the utilities section you will find constant over here just select it and the value provide the measurement id copy it from google analytics that we just created the property for and paste it then name this particular variable as ga4 id or measurement id and then save it and after that we need to trigger it up so for that we will click on triggering and over here we will select all pages that's why i asked you to put all the codes from google analytics that we just received on your web pages and for that the triggering will be able to work out now save it up and make sure to change it this name as per your requirements after that click on submit click on publish you can add name and description to it and then click on continue and after that in order to check whether everything is working quite fine or not you need to open up your Google Analytics account and just click on reports over here and here you would be able to see the traffic coming in it might take a little while after that you will be able to see live traffic from your website over here and you will be able to monitor it and this is how you switch from universal analytics to google analytics and i hope this video was helpful make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos